And here's a VLM carpet cleaning job we're doing for a client. And really the purpose of this job is uh, to make the carpets smell better. And we're gonna make them look better too because there are some spots and, and stains in the carpet that we're gonna get out. But mainly the client wants uh, a little bit better uh, scent in the carpet or in that room for that matter. And um, uh, this room was used a lot during the summer. Uh, they had a lot of guests and a lot of teenagers. So we're gonna make it smell better. And today we're using the black brush for the auric orbiter and this is going to act sort of like a crb and this is a orbital orbital brush agitation and we're using this to work in the deodorizer into the carpet let it dwell there a little bit longer um really push it into those carpet fibers the pre-spray because the pre-spray has our deodorizer uh we have uh the vinyl oxide as the deodor deodorizer and the pre-spray and it's going to really make it really um it, it's unscented but it's a hospital grade deodorizer and disinfectant so it's going to do a really good job at just bringing down some of the odors in the room and of course we don't guarantee that we can get the odors out we just give the client peace of mind that that we um we can improve can prove the uh the scent in the room and of course, we get it to where I couldn't, it was undetectable to me and the client. So we, we, uh, we accomplished our goals on that one. But we're using the black brush. You can see it's working really nice. Uh, I know there's a lot of newer people that watch this channel. Um, and they always, they always ask me about our CRB. Do I need a CRB? It was like, well, no, you don't really need a CRB. You can, you can use uh, the Auric Orbiter if you already have one and just buy a black brush attachment. Um, these work really great. Um, the, uh, it, it does dig deep into the carpet fibers safely. So, uh, it's just easier. One, one machine does it all. So I got the, uh, black brush on here, really scrubbing in the pre-spray and, uh, doing a good job at that. And... Not sure how much these black brushes are. Mine's pretty old. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know. But you can get them on Amazon. And they work really well. And you can see the, um, the carpets look really clean as well. It looks like, uh, like we're cleaning them. But we're going to go over... Uh, we're, we, we spray a liberal amount, and then uh, we're going to let it dwell there for a bit, and then we're going to uh, uh, go over with the bonnet and soak some of that up. And then, actually, it doesn't make the video. We do a post-vacuum, almost, almost out of batteries on my phone, so I'm not able to uh, film everything. So you're not going to see the any of the post-vacuum, or we're going to do a post-treatment of the... Uh, just uh, the vinyl oxide in the room once more. But but that's not going to make the video. And right there was a really bad organic stain. I don't know what that was. Um, it is some sort of protein. Some sort of maybe uh, dried protein shake or something. Because it was really hard. Hard as a rock. I don't know what was going on there. But we managed to get that out um, to almost undetectable levels so uh, we used a 20 volume for that and a little bit of ammonia but 20 volume straight a little bit of ammonia for the uh, for the staining and um, so you can see doing a great job here scrubbing away and uh, like I said we're gonna go over with the uh, microfiber bonnet because we did spray a liberal amount because we're gonna let it dwell uh, uh, let it dwell a little bit longer so we didn't want it to dry up on us and um, we are going to um, go over with that bonnet as I mentioned and the Auric Orbiter what, what a great machine um, 
just uh, easy to operate and uh, does a phenomenal job. Very underrated. Um, I know they're rather controversial machines and uh, a lot of cleaners don't like them because the whole argument that people like to use, well, you want as a cleaner, you want to bring something into the home that the customer can't buy and use. Well, again, I, I somebody said something like that uh, in the comment section to me yesterday. And uh, again, that's just like a totally wrong mindset. You know, the customers, they're hiring you to do this job because they don't want to do it. You know, people get their cars washed. Every, everybody knows how to wash a car, but I get mine washed every month. And, um, <laughs> I, you know, I just don't want to do it. So I hire somebody else. So it's the same thing. Anybody could clean a carpet. Um, but people don't want to do it, you know, people don't want to clean their own houses. People don't want to mow their own lawns. So they hire a service to do it. So same thing, you know, the people just, they, they just don't care. That's a, that's a scare tactic that a lot of, uh, veteran cleaners and service owners like to use, uh, to make the younger cleaners feel insecure and buy more products and buy, buy, uh, uh, higher price machines and there's nothing wrong with buying higher price machines and and expensive products um, but it's not necessary when you're starting out you know you want to start out at a minimal cost because you may not like uh, the cleaning industry you know you may not you it may be too hard for you to succeed or it's not what you thought it was going to be so um, it's best to make a smaller investment, at least when you get started. That's just my belief. Um, I see plenty of people buy all this equipment and then six months they sell it. You know, they're like already given up and out of business. So you don't want to be that person, you know. And this does phenomenal work without, this machine does phenomenal work without sacrificing quality. And another good thing about this machine is, uh, you know, your back goes out, your knee goes out, <laughs> you, uh, your shoulder goes out, something, you know, you, you, you just never know as you get older, you get things happen, you know, like, so, uh, if you're a guy, you know, you could still operate this machine with a, with a bum knee or a bad shoulder or carpal tunnel or whatever it is, you know, still be in business and, uh, uh, or, or you could preserve your back without having to, uh, haul around a, a hundred pound machine. And believe me, <laughs> it, uh, it takes, it takes a lot out of you, you know, as, uh, everybody's different. Some people th can withstand lugging around a hundred pounds. Other people can't, especially as you get older, you're just not going to be able to, uh, most people aren't going to be able to, to, to mess around with those heavier machines or bending down to get hoses on a consistent basis. And then you could always hire somebody to do it if, if, if you want to have that stuff out as well, you know, but anyways, everything's looking good. And, um, that stain right there is almost coming out. Now we're going to go back and and uh, treat that stain again and let give it a little dwell time and go over it. But but uh, that's not going to make the video. Uh, we are almost out of batteries.
and we're coming to an end because I know that the batteries are coming off right about here. Uh, thanks for watching.